YouTube? It's Yaba. And Corey. What's good, y'all? We back with another video. What's up, guys? <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And like all of our videos. Also, follow us on Instagram. It's up in the, this link in here somewhere. Also, we've got our streaming and our gaming coming for you guys soon. June is running up on us, so you guys got to keep an eye out. Okay? Sorry. Make sure um, you do that. And turn yeah. on your post notifications. Yeah, y'all. Um, check out my music. It's going to be right up there. Um, I rap and all that good stuff. Uh, in a sense, similar to Tom, but not as similar. You know what I'm saying? Mine's just a little bit different. Um, but today we're reacting to Tom McDonald, The System, or McDonald. I might be messing up his last name. The System. We've, I've never reacted to Tom or seen his music video or heard of any of his songs. I don't know who this person is. She don't know who this is, but I've heard of him before. I've heard of his name, um, but I've just never really listened to his music. Yeah, I know I saw that he collabed with Dax, and I've listened to Dax. So that's probably the most that I've probably had knowledge of his stuff. But I saw this, and I was like, the system, hmm, I know that he collabs with Dax, so I'm thinking it's going to be something, like, intellectual, you know what I'm saying? And I love that type of rap. So... Let's get on to the video. Welcome to the world, baby boy. I'll paint you red and white and blue. The indoctrination starts as soon as you come out the womb. Pretty quick, we'll make you stupid with curriculums at school. And if the classroom doesn't do the trick, we'll make you watch the news. Pick your team, right or left. Pick the red pill or the blue. You can vote, but even if you win, still everyone will lose. Don't forget to buy designer because Gucci makes you cool. We prioritize <laughs> material belongings over truth. Get a job that you can't stand to. You can buy some cans of food. Go overseas and die for freedom. There's some oil we can use. Our democracy exists so that you think that you can choose. But our algorithms make you do what we want. Want you to do what's the problem your depressed society has you confused we got medication for you that you'll probably abuse don't get married to a lady who also don't have a clue and pump on a few babies that are just the same as you to the system everyone's a victim doesn't matter if you're black or white it hates you all here inside the system violence is a symptom fighting for what's right but somehow everyone is wrong welcome to the system everyone's a victim doesn't matter if you're black or white it hates you all here inside the system violence is a symptom fighting for what's right but somehow everyone Welcome to the world, baby girl. I paint you pink if that's okay. We'll encourage self destruction through the music that you play. We divided all the men by trying politics and race, and honestly, it's working awesome. So for you, we'll do the same. Never teaching you to love yourself and check you full of hate. Objectify your sexuality, then blame you for the rave and weaponize the differences that make our men and women great. And just to screw with you, erase the genders. Everyone's the same. We'll empower you with rights to vote and fight for equal pay. Then have the men turn into women and you'll fight for them again. But you thought you had it figured out, but everything. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim, doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom, fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim, doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom, fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the world, everybody. I'ma paint you black and white. I'ma make you hate each other so that everyone will fight. I'ma give you all religion, let the righteous find the light. But I will also give you science to oppose the word of Christ. And I'ma give you borders, they're imaginary lines. If you cross them, go to war and win when everybody dies. And I'ma give you money that you'll value more than life. And let the 1% have everything while you fight to survive. And then I'll give you politics, I'll call it left and right. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you see? I'm the system, my whole purpose is divide. What you choose will never matter because everything Everything is mine. Damn. Welcome to the system. Damn. Everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here that just gave me chills, y'all. Violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system. Everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system. Violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system. Everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Hey. Wow. Okay, so, 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 okay, okay. This is, I know reacted, I know, so, but you go first, because I'm about to talk a whole synopsis. So, I like that snippet of where he was talking about the system's purpose is to divide both yeah. sides, but slowly conquer them. Yeah. And be in control of everything. That's so true, and I think people don't realize that. And all this political division and ethnic 
division and moral mm-hmm. division. Like, none of it matters at the end of the day because we all fall under the same fucking umbrella, mm-hmm. which is the system. And the chorus, like, that kept repeating, everyone's a victim, and whether you're fighting for the right thing, you're still going to be wrong because mm-hmm. technically the way the system sees you, you're, you're wrong. Mm-hmm. So, I like that. That was very unique. I wasn't expecting that from him. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm glad that we got to listen because I'm not gonna lie, I had my, you know, my little judgments beforehand. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he's speaking some truth. Yeah. He's speaking real shit. So I liked it. So what I would say to this is, first, just gonna analyze it a little bit because I got to I'm a rapper. So originally, what I first take from it when it comes to like the stylistic choice of how he's rapping, it's kind of like a um, a rock type of style, rock and rap. You can hear it with the chorus, how it's doubling. Welcome to the... But you hear that darker tone in the background. That's like a rock type of... It's a rockish type of style set, right? Um, obviously, the way he is, the way he's dressed, the dark eyes, like... Hip-hop has some some things that they pull from rock a lot of times. But this, you can, you can really see a lot of rock and roll influences. Especially, like... I'll probably say a little bit more like um, Black Sabbath. You know, just like a little bit in the darker references of, of rock and roll. So that's one thing. Tough, especially since he's mixing it with hip-hop and uh, a type of hip-hop. You probably call it grunge hip-hop. I know a lot of people call it stuff like this grunge hip-hop. I'm not sure if I would call it grunge. I don't really know the different styles of hip-hop, but I think it's definitely more on the, the rock and roll side. Um, <clears throat> two, what she said about like, True shit. Like, I tell people all the time. All my friends, I don't I don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat, independent. At the end of the day, all of us as people want the same thing. We want to be happy. We want to hopefully have a family, have a happy life, and, you know, raise children to be better. Not all of us want the children in that, but we all want to be happy. Inherently, that's all what we want. And, you know, a lot of us find happiness in different ways. And it's fucked up that we're trying to say left or right, this issue, that issue, but when we all look at it on the bigger scale of things, both of these sides are fucking us. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're both fucking us. Like, let's just be honest here. Like, I hope everyone can see it now. Like, it doesn't matter if you're left or right. No side is with the people. None. And once we start realizing this, especially as Americans, because I think this is exactly what who, what this exa- video is actually, you know, directed to, it's mainly Americans. Once we realize this as Americans... That's going to be the day that we start doing things for ourselves, like electing people. If we got to go out and fucking riot, then that's what we're going to have to do. There's a riot in France every fucking month. If, if the government isn't upholding what the people want, the people have a right to be upset. We have a right as people to be upset. Y'all see them kids that just got killed the other day? And, and, and look at all the excuses that are being made. For someone going in and killing kids. There shouldn't be any excuses. There's never any justification for that. In every other country in this world, civilized country, and that's why I say America is a third world country in Gucci Belt. When when we look at it, in every other country, if this would have happened in any other country, any other first world, civilized, quote unquote, country, there would have been legislation to stop it or hopefully try to combat it. No questions asked, no um, left or right, no party, no nothing. What happened to America to where now it's all about party lines. It's all about one issue. We're electing politicians based off of one issue. You don't like abortion, that person love doesn't want abortion, you're going to vote for her. Not listening to anything else this dumb bitch says. Just because she hates abortion, you hate, you love her and hate everyone else. How does that make sense? What if she was a fucking rapist and killed five people? But because she hates abortion, you're with her. You know, it's it's like, come on, we're, we're not a we're not one sided people. I know I have things that align to both sides, and all of my friends that I've talked to have things that they align to both sides. It's not just one or the other. We need to decide as Americans what we're gonna do before things start getting so bad to where our country starts to collapse. I think bipartisan legislature is really just a distraction. If we could all just get on the same page about what needs to be done for the betterment of the entire country and not just one particular group, yeah, i.e. the rich, 
everything would be fine. Like it wouldn't be fine, but, but it would be better. It's like we have to understand as Americans, it was always supposed to be duality, right? It was always supposed to be individual rights aren't tarnished, so the government doesn't have a say in some of these things. And we also have a mass scale federal law to where if it's affecting so many different people in so many different states, then we bring it up to the federal level. That's what should be the case. When it comes to rights of the state, rights of the state should not determine the rights of the people in the state. The people are American. States are states. The states can determine how to tax you. States can determine laws and certain things. Driving, all that different thing, because that's how you align yourself to that state. But when it comes to the people, we are Americans first. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a Georgian or whatever the fuck you even call yourself if you're from a certain state. I'm not, you know, that's not, that's not how you, we align ourselves. We align ourselves by the country. So the federal government has to have a say in some of these things. And we need to realize that these parties that we have and these people who we're electing are not for us anymore. They're not for us. Whether you're for them or with them or you love Republicans, you love Democrats, they're not for us. They're not for us. And once we realize that, mm-hmm. we can start combating. Because I'm going to be honest with y'all, just going to be as perfectly clear as possible, there is going to be no change if something doesn't happen, right? It's not going to be, we're just going to be saying it on Twitter and social media. No one gives a fuck about your feelings, okay? The people in power don't give a fuck about your feelings. So why would it why would they give enough care enough to change? They're not gonna care. They're gonna have to see action and repeated action for them to stop and say, Oh, if we do this, we might lose our jobs. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But we keep voting them in, thinking they're gonna do something different for us. They're not gonna do anything different. They're not gonna do anything different. And the moment we realize that is the moment we can get the fuck up and combat it. Just like when black people wanted to be considered equal and the civil rights movement went through, they didn't sit there and, and, and just write in newspapers or write in books about how upset they were. They got the fuck up, went through different financial planning, different social planning to get people to see what was going on, and they did it repeatedly to the point where People stopped wanting to trade with America. Countries stopped wanting to talk to America. You had people who never seen that issue before start to see what's going on in the country around and then started to come and join in. And people's consciousness started to ride them. Mm -hmm. That's how we get people to change. Not through Twitter. Fuck Twitter. Fuck social media. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't change anything. It does, but not how y'all think it does. It cannot make big change. And I think another, like, hidden theme in this is the division. Like, if we were to focus more, I hear a lot of more tolerant, and I guess you could say liberal boomers talking about how, like, the value of community is lost. Mm -hmm. If we place more value on community from the jump, there wouldn't be so much division. We'd be able to get together and form these groups who can Mm -hmm. start these grassroots movements Mm -hmm. who are actually going to advocate for change and force it. I think what the, the problem is, everybody wants to be a leader, but no one wants to lead. People don't realize or even how... knows what it takes to be a leader. Yeah. People don't know what it takes to be a leader, like a true leader. You're not going to be perfect. No man is perfect, right? Having the title is one thing, but actually but doing the shit is a whole other what thing. What are you going to do? You can't, just, you can't be a greedy leader. That's one thing. You can't. Money can't be the purpose, right? You're saying you want to help people, but then you buy mansions. That's not how it works. Okay? If you want to buy a mansion, buy, buy a mansion for somebody else. You should be comfortable. I can, I can say that. As a leader, you should definitely be comfortable. But you shouldn't eat better than the people around you. Like, the army teaches you that. Anywhere teaches you that if you have good leaders around you. They take care of their people more they take care of themselves. That's what a leader is. So, some of these people who we have as leaders are not leaders. Even government officials, they're taking care of themselves before they take care of anyone else. The leaders that we had, are we, we lost them. And the only reason why we lost them is because we're putting these people, we're idolizing people who aren't leaders. You get what I'm saying? Like, we're idolizing, I love, I'm a rapper. I, I understand I love people who listen to my music and talk to me, and I love that shit. But you got to understand, like, rappers can be leaders, but not every rapper is a leader, Okay. 
uh, politicians can be leaders, but not every politician is going to be a leader. You have to look for the traits that you want as a leader. It has They have to be honest. They have to, like, there are certain things that they have to do. Or they have to stand up and want to change something. When the fuck have you ever seen any of these motherfuckers that we have out here right now actually standing up and changing something, willing to sacrifice everything to change that thing? The bar is really low. It's honestly in the ground right now. Because y'all can say whatever y'all want about Martin Luther King and how he probably was not an honest man to his life or whatever the fuck y'all want to say. It doesn't change anything. He was willing to risk his life to change one thing and it wasn't and, and he never got to see the benefits. You can say whatever you want about Malcolm X. But he was willing to risk his life to change that one thing. And that's how you know a coward from a fucking leader. If they're willing to risk their life, you cannot be scared of death if you're a leader. You cannot want to be the richest person in the world if you're a leader. That's not how it works. You're not a leader. Yeah, and also, just because you're a leader doesn't necessarily make you a perfect or flawless human. No, no, no. Because you're not... You we're mistakes. humans. We're, we're not perfect. I don't I don't know if you're, y'all are religious. I get that. That's fine. We don't have to be religious. But we as humans, inherently, we know there's no such thing as perfect. You can't be perfect. There's always someone better. Right? It, maybe not now, but maybe in the future. I'd There's be always going to be better. Yeah, sorry to interrupt you. No, but you're good. I'd be more willing to follow someone who I know has life experience enough to say, I made mistakes in the past and I learned from them, but I can teach this to someone else than someone who has just gone through life and not really had the opportunity to make those mistakes, who doesn't really know a thing about what it's like to actually be on the other side of the fence, you yeah. know? If you don't have that knowledge, how are you going to teach or help anyone else around you? Yeah. There's y'all, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Too. Sometimes I be sitting back. I'm only 22. About to be 23 soon. And I don't know what the fuck has been going on. I've just gotten really, like, consciousness to where I'm, like, really paying attention to what's going on in the world. Or at least in this country, for sure. Because I'm American, right? And what the fuck is going on? The state of the union Like, what's going on? Right now. Like, I'm not saying that we're going to die as a country. Not that far. But I am saying that once we start losing faith in the people that we elect, that's how you get countries collapsing. I, if no one sees that, I don't know what's going on. And if we're dividing us, ourselves so much to where we can't come together on one issue, like, we see kids die. Children die. In the name of what? In the name of who knows what. I don't care. And we don't do anything, nothing, to stop it. Yeah. Also, pray for or try to stop it. And all the families who have lost people because it's serious. And I'm gonna be honest with you, babe. I I love you and I understand that. Fuck your prayer. I, if I was those families, I would tell you to fuck your prayer. Fuck your prayer. Fuck whoever. Fuck fuck you. Because at the end of the day, your prayer is not doing anything for me. It's not doing anything for me or or anyone else that might have to go through this next time. That's all I'm saying. Every time something tragic happens in the United States, it's thoughts and prayers. Every time. Fix the issue. I'm not saying to get rid of all guns, bro. And if we stop listening to these stupid-ass journalists that are trying to divide us, then we would know it's not about... Stopping every gun. We understand there's a Second Amendment. And I love my Second Amendment. I can say that. I like guns. But I'm not stupid enough to not understand that people need to go through background checks. You get what I'm saying? I'm not stupid enough to not understand that maybe we do need to have mental checkups. Especially if you own a gun. Because you don't know what a person could be going through. And if they're going through a deep point in their life, they might want to lash out. I'm not stupid enough to not understand that. Just saying. We don't have to go that far, but we can start. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least at least compromise with us and get us the universal background checks. So we know we're not giving guns to convicted to, to people who are convicted. Or maybe you you can drive across the border into Georgia or Alabama and get a gun. Or everyone can open carry. Like that is the dumbest law I've ever heard in my life. Everyone can open carry. Everyone. Some people don't deserve no damn gun. If, if they gon' <sighs> Well, guys, thank you for coming to our TED Talk. Yeah. And if you like the Tom McDonald vibe that we got here today, 
in our little snippets at the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, y'all. My mind just be running with all these different things. I just, I just don't understand, and I wish we could change. Yeah. And I don't know, I don't know how we're going to get to that leader or that person that's going to pop out, and, and, and we have people who follow them. The, pe- the, le- the person has to be someone who can talk on both peers. And I'm just hoping we, that it is something that we do. Before this country starts going to a, a, a standpoint to where there's no coming back for us. Money rules a lot of things, but we can't let money rule us. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm done. All right. See y'all later. Bye. Bye.